So we mean we have the whole wheat, we have the maize offers, we have the wheat offers, we have the brewery dry grain or the brewers dry grain. We have the pamkane cake and pamkane meal, PKC and PKM. We have the soya beans. Under soya bean, we have soya bean meal. We have soya bean cake, SBM and SBC. We have the granite cake. We have the granite cake and granite meal. That is GNC and and GCM. We have the cotton seed cake and cotton seed meal. CXC and CSM. We have the full fat soya. We have the soya bean seed. What is the work of all these feed addictives? Their functions in the feed and the livestock, one is to they affect the health status of the livestock. When we talk about livestock, we talk about all the animals, domesticated animals, both the chicken, both the cow, both the goat, both pig, fowl, we have the dog, and others. So feed addictives supplement the lost minerals or the minerals to complement the minerals in the feed. And their functions is to affect the health status of the livestock. Two, they enhance feed intake. Three, pathogenic feed addictives. They destroy pathogens in the feed. They facilitate digestion and absorption of the feed. They act as enzymes. They enhance quality and acceptability. That is, they make the feed with the fish oil in the feed. Once you throw the or you spray the um, fish feed in the water, you see how the fish will jump up. It is because of the aroma of the feed. If you throw other stone there, they will not jump. They will not see them. Make, and they will not even feel that something has entered. But because of the aroma, and what is the aroma? The aromas are from the feed addictives. They enhance quality and acceptability, promote growth and production. They alter metabolism and affect the health status of the livestock in general. All these feed ingredients I mentioned fall under the following categories. The soya, soum, oat, wheat, corn, all of them fall under vegetable protein. This last dry grain, offers, wheat offer, maize offer, corn offer, rice bran, all these ones are under the offers. They are also for protein and minerals, vitamins and fiber. They give strength also to the bears and to the livestock. Then we have the mineral supplements, like the premise that contains more than 45 different minerals that enhance the growth of the livestock. Vitamins for your livestock. They are economic or economically viable. After processing their rice, they just go with their rice and leave the rice bran for them. Those feed millers would not sell it to feed producers. You can see. Therefore, if you meet the rice producers themselves, that means it will be cheaper because for them, they don't know the value of it. Then another product is the this last grain. This last grain. This last grain, we have 
this last dry grain belly, we have this last dry grain corn, we have this last dry grain wheat, we have this last wheat grain corn, and this last dry grain soya bean, this last dry grain guinea corn. All these things are used for production of local alcohol or pap and they contain high protein now let me give you the list of all these low cost feed ingredients or feed alternatives you can use to drop the cost of your feed production and maximize your profit let me give you a, a, a breakdown of them before we're not going into their nutritional content now we have the canola Canola hair, canola meal, espella, we have canola meal, solvent, we have canola silage. Then under the chaff, we have chaff, small grain, we have chaff, small grain, and we have wheat chaff. Then we have the this last dry grain belly, this last dry grain corn, this last dry grain wheat, this last wheat grain corn, this last dry grain guinea corn, and the rest of them. All this is away from all these products. They have similar but not the same value of nutrition. They are similar. They are very close. Their nutritional content are very close but not equal. I'm going to give you the nutritional content of each of these particular products that will help you to drop the cost of your feed and feed formulation will now become too low and too cheap to the extent that you will make enough profit. We have the fruit and vegetables. We have the beans, dry house. Then under the screenings, we have screening belly, screenings canola, screenings corn. We have the screening feed pea. We have the screening guinea corn. We have the screening grain. We have the screening wheat. And we have the lentil grain. Then we have the soya meal. Soya mean horse, soya bean me hall. This soya bean, when they break it, the hall itself is valuable in livestock and poultry also. They contain very good amount of nutrients that will enrich your feed. Then we have the soya bean meal solvent. We have the straw, we have the belly straw, we have the bean straw, dry edible, we have the chickpea straw. We had the feed pea straw, we had the flax straw, lentil straw. Depending on your location, you can trace all these ingredients. I may not be able to give you the picture of all of them, but I will give you the photos and video of most of these ingredients so that when you see them, you'll be able to identify them. Most of them are in your area. Are you in the south? Are you in the east? Are you in the west? Are you in the north? God blessed all the regions of the world with what we You have you hardly see an animal traveling from um, Russia to America to go and search for food. They get their food within their environment. God that created them placed their food within their environment. So it is now left for you to locate that particular food. We have the sugar beets. Su we have the beet top sugar. We have the beet top silage sugar. Where the beet selling sugar, where the beet selling silage, where the beet top silage sugar, then we have the weeds, cochia hair weed, we have the cochia hair late, we have the slow hair. All these things are available in your location. You look for them. We have the Barbara Nut. Most of you from Nigeria, those of you from Enugu side, where they cook. Opa, this is the call of Opa. And many of you know it 